today we are going to start a problem on uh, uh, circular lamina okay so draw the projections of a circular plate of negligible thickness 50 mm diameter resting on hp so you can see that so we have to construct a, a circle of uh, diameter 50 mm resting on hp on a point a that means we need to consider a starting point a here on the left hand side so on the circumference we have to consider a point point so with its plate inclined at 45 degree to hp and the top view of the diameter passing through the resting point makes 60 degree to vp so it is an so one of the normal type of problem so we have to construct a first draw an x y line VP HP. Now we have to construct one circle of diameter 25, a diameter 50. So diameter 50 means we have to consider a radius of 25 here. 25 means 2.5 centimeter. So you can write here dia 50. So consider radius of 25 from scale okay so consider it and then draw and circle here taking a reference point so we have drawn and circle now we know that uh, so we have to divide this circle into eight equal parts okay so for that uh, initially I will be drawing a, a straight line here and then we know the concept so in order to divide the circle into 8 equal parts we will be considering the 45 degree right so as we have been find out in the external angle so taking this point as a reference so I will be marking at 45 90 ok then 135 130 135 and then 180 okay so so after marking these points so after marking the points so this you can extend it okay you can extend it so you can extend these lines to complete the profile here okay. now we have done with the construction of a circle so we have to mark a point a here you can see that a point a we have to mark here a b c D, E, F, G, H. Okay. So after showing it, so we have to show the dimensions here. One side. We have to show the dimension. It is 50 diameter. Okay. So it is diameter 50. Now we have to draw the front view of it. So we have done with the 
frame tree now we have to mark the notation we kept from the frame tree we can able to see a b c d e so first i will write those things which are visible a dash b dash c dash d dash and e dash but f dash g dash and h dash not visible from the frame tree now we have to mark the 45 degree angle so before that we have to take a reference point first take a reference point here a dash okay now we have to mark at an angle of 45 degree now we have to cut the arcs okay totally one two three four arcs we have to cut from this point this is e first arc next second arc from e dash to d dash okay third arc from e dash to c dash both are from a dash to b dash okay now we can write down the notations so b dash h dash c dash g dash d dash f dash and e dash and this is the length we require so we are going to dark this this is the angle t 5 degree okay and the rest of the length we are going to erase it so now by projection principle we are going to construct the second position top view So now the important part here is to mark down the notations A. So the B we get it here. Okay. And the C point we get it here. And D point. And then this is E. And this is F. And this is G this point is h now after uh, marking the point so we have to construct an ellipse here so with the freehand sketch we can construct the ellipse here so so that the curve we get it has to be very smooth So this is how we construct the ellipse. Okay, this is ellipse, this is circle. Now the third position, so it is 60 degree. So making an angle of 60 degree. So for that purpose, uh, I'll be drawing an angle line here uh, at this point. So we can draw the angle line like this also and like this also. So there is no problem in it. So at the angle of inclination here it is 60 degree. So mark for 60 degree. So angle of inclination here it is 60 degree. Okay. So 
after uh, marking uh, 60 degree so we will be uh, transferring this diagram over here okay so for that uh, first i will be taking a reference point a a to e Okay, now uh, the thing here is we have to cut the arcs okay from A to H from A to H and A to F and A to D So e to d so the four arcs we have cutted by taking the one length now the arc length we have to take that is reverse a to f okay e to d these two lengths are same similarly we have e to b and e to h so we can okay can can cut the reverse arcs here measuring one length you can finish four arcs here okay so after this we have left with this is h g So we have cut it. Now this is H, this is G, this is F, this is D, this is C, this is B. Now, so similarly, we have to construct an ellipse here. Okay, the smooth uh, line here. So this is how we construct the third position topic. Now for the final position, so we will be projecting the lines here. Similarly, we will be projecting the lines horizontally here. Okay, so no marking the notation is now important. A and uh, A dash, uh, we get it uh, here. This is a dash. Similarly, b and b dash we get it here. This is b dash. Similarly, c and uh, c. This is c. Uh, c we get it uh, here. C dash. Similarly, t and uh, d dash. And e and e dash we get it here. F. Okay f and f dash it is meeting uh, here similarly g and uh, g dash meeting here now h and h dash will be meeting here now we have to complete the final diagram by means of a freehand sketch okay so how we proceed it is it is like a curve not a straight line you to see and C to D okay. C to D then D to E then E to F okay so E to F to F to G next G to H and H to D so this is how we complete the circle problem